let's see how to edit foundation elements in Cype 3D. To do this, once we are in the Foundations tab, we open the Foundation Elements menu at the top of the interface and select the Edit option. Then, we left-click on a previously entered foundation element, in this case, a pad footing. In the centre of the pop-up window, a representation of the geometry and reinforcement of the element is shown. This will be displayed if we keep the Detailing tab open. By clicking on the 3D View tab, we see the element modelled in three dimensions. At the top of the window are a series of tools for modifying the features of the element. For footings or pile caps, we can select a different type using the corresponding buttons. Then, by clicking on Materials, we assign both the materials of the element and the allowable soil bearing pressures. If no checkboxes are activated, the program will automatically use the information entered in the project menu under General Data. By activating the concrete or steel checkboxes, we can choose a material from those available in the selected code. In the case of allowable soil bearing pressures, we shall define a value for persistent situations and for seismic and accidental situations. The program allows us to import typical project values by clicking on the button on the right. At the bottom of the window, we can check Consider Soil Structure Interaction. If we wish to consider it, we will specify the subgrade modulus. The following option allows us to edit the geometry of the element. In our case, we can modify the initial and final widths in X and Y, as well as the depth of footing. Now we are going to click on Reinforcement in order to edit it. In the bottom Reinforcement Mesh, Top Reinforcement Mesh and Perimeter tabs, we specify the reinforcement in the different parts of the element, defining the diameter of the bars and other data, such as their spacing and whether or not there are anchors in hook. Then, we can modify the options for the geometric design. If we check Simple, the program allows us to choose the direction of growth by directly selecting any of the available symbols. By checking Advanced, under Direction of Growth we can specify the widths that will grow and their preference, and also indicate the conditions of growth of the widths in the X direction and in the Y direction, by selecting them from the different drop-down menus. Further on, Using code checks, we can verify the foundation element with the previously defined geometry and reinforcement specifications. By clicking on it, we access the detailed report of code checks. In the centre, a report is displayed with the status of each code check. By clicking on each of the lines, we obtain a detailed report for each check in the viewer at the bottom. At the top right, there is an option to view the complete listing of each element, which can be shared and exported in different formats or printed. Finally, with design, we design the element again with the forces obtained after the analysis. In the pop-up window, the program allows us to choose the type of design. By means of a complete design, both the geometry and the reinforcement of the element are designed, without adhering to the data entered by the user. If we use minimum dimensions, the program checks the element with the dimensions entered by the user, only increasing them if necessary. Furthermore, the reinforcement is always designed accordingly. Finally, by checking Redesign, the program will only design the reinforcement without modifying the geometry of the element. Finally, to confirm the changes, we click on Accept.